Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the tetlage.com. And we are working on object oriented programming skills to create a very awesome live application. But very first, guys, I will have to show you how to write classes and how to write methods inside them. So, very first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to name it to class dot maths dot php guys this is a very common way to you know create uh, class files if you will notice a lot of time you will find uh, classes like this your know, class dot name of the class and dot php it is a very good way to actually remember what uh, what particular file is doing for you and I'm gonna delete this function dot php file because we don't need it anymore out here I'm gonna open the php tags let me close it from here as well. Okay. Uh, guys, in order to create any class, very first you will have to understand uh, what your class is going to do. If I'll talk about a class maths uh, that will, you know, take care of all the addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division under one roof. So that means, you know, we would be writing these different functions inside one class. And guys, I do understand, you know, writing these kind of classes are not practical enough. But again, you know, uh, it is it is fine to give you a start and give you a feel how classes are and how to work with functions. So I'm going to create a new class by writing this particular word called class. And then I'm going to write the name of the class. I'm going to call it maths. Okay. Then we will have to, you know, uh, put everything inside these parentheses. And then I'm going to create a function called uh, addition. Okay. And then I'm going to say a function called subtraction. Or probably we can make it it's in the uppercase. And I'm going to create a function called multiplication and finally we can create one more and I can name this one to division okay guys so these are all the functions of same nature you know all gonna deal with some values and they're gonna uh, you know calculate some uh, values from it using the mathematical functions that's the reason they all are under one class so these, this is the only reason we build classes to keep all the common tasks under one roof. So, you know, again, the way we did last time, I'm going to pass in, you know, some parameters inside them. I'm going to say var1 and var2. And the same thing I'm going to do with subtraction, with multiplication and with division. And here, uh, I'm going to say dollar a will be equals to var1 and dollar b will be equals to var2 and we have to do the same thing again and again so we can copy and paste it <coughs> uh, then I'm going to say you know dollar c will be equals to dollar a plus dollar b because it's an addition one here uh, dollar a would be uh, minus dollar b uh, here dollar a will be uh, multiplied by dollar b and here we will be dividing it so. okay. and then again guys you can now finally we can return dollar c whatever you know value we're gonna get from this function we're gonna return it so what is it return dollar c return dollar c and return dollar c okay so these are our functions inside this particular class called maths. Now guys, if you are thinking, you know, we can run them the same way we did last time. Uh, no, we cannot do that. Let me give you guys a try. So I'm going to say echo uh, addition 1 and 2. You're going to get, uh, you know, a lot of errors from there. So I'm going to say class dot maths. That PHP. It says call to an undefined function addition, though it's not undefined, we have defined it. But uh, we define it inside a class, so uh, there is no point we can exit it without calling this class. So guys, every time you have anything inside a class, you will have to you know, create an instance of that class in order to access all the members 
inside that particular class. So I do, if you are a beginner, it might sound, you know, a bit confusing, but guys, again, you will, you know, have to uh, more friendly with, with it if you want to build, uh, you know, very complicated classes in the future. So uh, I'm going to say dollar $mat, okay, will be equals to a new instance of this particular class called Mat. okay. Now, this variable is equals to this particular class, and now we can access all the methods inside this class by using this particular variable. So, if I'm gonna say echo dollar math and addition, it says three. Okay, guys, so this is a way to call the functions from a class. Very first, you need to create a new instance of a class, make it equals to any variable you want. And you know, just to keep it more simple, simpler, I made it equal to math, and then you can say you know echo math and the method inside it. So in the same way, um, probably I can say echo break. Okay, then I can say echo dollar math that would be equal to the instance of my class, and I can call multiplication. Multiplication. Okay, and I'm gonna say multiply two and four. And I'm gonna get eight. Okay, guys. So uh, you can notice we are able to access everything inside these functions by creating this variable, or probably I would say instance of the class. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a very simple pagination class, and then we're gonna move forward while building a very awesome web application. I would say. So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.